Hello everyone, so this video shows how to put the Remington manufacturing problem onto Excel. So this one is uh, one of the problems that include binary variables and we have setup costs. So in this problem we have three different products. Uh, they have a unit profit of 48, 55 and 50. And uh, there's a fixed cost associated with each product, uh, 1,800 and 900. So if you're producing if this number here is larger than zero, then the fixed cost has to be applied to our uh, objective function. So, um, what we're going to do here is, uh, these are our decision variables, the integer ones, and these are our very uh, binary variables. Just like any other problem, we, we assign an area, number of cells, for uh, the integer decision variables and the binary variables. And these will be empty in the beginning, so let's clear these clear contents of these okay so I've already filled this table out so we have our uh, hours required for each product and uh, this amount used used should be less than or equal to the amount available and we enter our classic uh, typical uh, resource constraints in, in this cell so basically some product of these cells with the number produced of each product gives us how much of resource of one is used and this the amount of resource used should be less than the amount of resource available less than or equal to uh, the amount of resource available so it's the same way for grinding so this equals to some product of these three cells right here uh, with the with these three cells and that should be less than or equal to 300 so those are classical resource constraints and um, I'm sure you're already familiar with those by now, but we need to create the linking constraints. So uh, the linking constraints here, just like any other constraint, the left hand side of this constraint is going to be entered into this cell and the right hand side is going to be, uh, can be included in the solver part since it's, since it's only zero. So in this linking constraint for the first one, we're talking about uh, this first constraint right here. So X1 minus, 50 y1 should be less than or equal to zero uh, they actually show you how to calculate that 50 here but we already know that from the constraint so that's 50 so x1 b5 minus 50 times b50 in this cell right here that gives us the left hand side of this constraint that's equal to that and let's take a look at the second one again here it's trying to calculate that m value we showed how to calculate that m value in another of video so this is 67 same thing and in this one this should be 75 so basically that is d5 this value minus 75 times this value right here y3 should be less than or equal to zero so let's take a look at uh, what we're going to do with solver Okay, so in the solver, we set our objective function to this cell right here. And we set our changing variable cells to B5 to D5 and B15 to D15. So all of these, these integer variables and binary variables, those empty cells are our variables. Uh, uh, there's certain constraints. The first one is that these cells should be binary so we make b15 to d15 equals to binary and i'll show you how to do that i'll click on this and change so we'll say b15 to d15 equals to binary right here and click ok that creates our uh, binary constraint the second one right here is the linking constraint so b16 to d16 should be less than or equal to zero so these values right here should be less than or equal to zero as it, as stated in the constraints right below here the third constraint here third set of constraint is b5 to d5 should be integers so we have already seen these these values are they represent numbers so they need to be integers a number of units so they need to be integers we can't produce half a unit um, and finally E11 to E13 should be less than or equal to F11 to F13. So the amount of resource used 
here should be less than or equal to amount of resource available. And again, we make our unconstrained variables non-negative. We use the simplex method and we solve it. And this gives us uh, our result. So uh, we have two types of products. We are producing two types of products. We're not producing product one at all. And there's a setup cost of 800 plus 900. $1,700 of setup cost, and in addition, we have a profit we're getting from selling a unit of each of these products. Uh, and I'll show you, I didn't show you the profits sell, uh, objective function cell here. So we have some product of B7 to D7 with B5 to D5. So basically, these cells times these cells that give us the profit that we gain by selling a um, different products minus some product of B8 to D8, the setup cost, the fixed cost, times the binary variables. So if this is zero, if this is zero, binary variable zero, so we don't have to pay the setup cost. So zero multiplied by zero, uh, um, sorry, zero multiplied by 1000 gives us zero. The second case, when 56 is, uh, when second product, second cell is larger than zero, which is 56, the binary variable should be 1, which means that 1 times 800, 1 times 800 is equal to 800. And then again, it's the same thing for product 3. Okay, So that's our objective function value. So for the linking constraint, we just put it exactly like how we would put any other constraint. Uh, you can write uh, the right-hand sides in these cells as well if you want to be consistent with your um, with the this uh, type of formulation you can just write it here and then make sure that this value is less than or equal to this value so this is how you write the linking constraints uh, for the binary variables and the integer variables